Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Angel, and I am the host of Half Faith Let It Begin. Today, we conclude our Crazy Date Season 1 with Episode 16. It is a two-part episode. Last week, let me recap what happened. I started to talk to a young girl named Stephanie, and she was on Match.com. We spoke for a month before we decided to meet up for a date at a mall. When the date came about and I arrived at the mall, the girl that showed up was not the same girl that I saw as a picture on Match. Her voice was also different. She explained to me that her name was Natalie, and Natalie was a roommate of Stephanie. She says that she felt bad because Stephanie wasn't interested, but she wanted to know if I could still take her on a date. So we did. We had a great time. When I got home that night, there was two voicemails on my home phone, and one of them was from Stephanie. See, Stephanie thought that I stood her up. The two of them didn't know that each one of them was interested in me. So when I went on a date with Stephanie, it was the greatest date I have ever been on. It was as if we never left off, never had an opportunity to, uh, we just picked up where we left off. We had spoken for a month. We had built some type of a, a trust, a relationship over the phone. And when we finally had our date, it was as if we never missed a beat. What I didn't realize was that at one point, I was talking to two girls and both girls didn't know they were talking to me. And the worst part about it is they're both roommates. And that is where we start our part 16 of Crazy Date Story season finale. And it starts right now. Buckle your seatbelts. You're not going to want to miss this. Broadcasting live worldwide. On June 16th, 2018, a show designed for you, The Daily Commuter, went live. A weekly show all about faith. A show with motivational topics, inspirational stories, and personal testimony set out to change the world. Don't you see that your faith is coming alive? Don't you see that it's tested every time? He's the one that makes your life divine. He's the one that makes you feel fine. Your faith being tested. Hi, I am Mia. You are listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hello, my name is Amari, and today we are back on another episode of Have Faith and Let's Begin. Hi, my name is Isabella, and you're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hey, this is Freddie, and you're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hi, my name is Angela, and you're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Broadcasting live worldwide. Hello, everyone. Here is part two, season finale, Crazy Date Story, part 16. So after I've been talking to the two young ladies, I'm not going to lie, and I'm not proud of it, but I decided I had to make a choice. Which girl was I really interested in? Well, I had a better relationship, so to speak, a better, um, longer lasting talking relationship with Stephanie. We had spoken for over a month. And quite honestly, she wasn't the one that was deceiving. She wasn't the one that undercut her roommate. She was told by her roommate that, you know, she was going to go on the date. And I didn't know how this was going to work. But, you know, Natalie basically uh, took over the date. And I'm not going to lie, it was a great date. But when I went on a date with Stephanie, I kind of realized that that was the girl that I was very interested in. So I decided it was probably the best thing to cut ties with Natalie. I started to talk to Natalie and I decided to tell her that it was not going to be the best time uh, to, to date at this time. I was reluctant to say that I knew 
that they were both seeing or talking to me because I was afraid that it would come back to haunt me. So I just told Natalie that I wasn't interested. But the most unique thing happened, remarkable thing. When I told Natalie I wasn't interested in her, she began to be more interested in me. She started to call me almost every day. I've never had that type of attention. So I decided maybe I won't cut ties with her just yet. So I started to think, well, I can always just hang out with her. I mean, I don't have to lead her on. I could just keep her as a friend. And I'll be honest, I kept thinking maybe if things didn't work out with Stephanie, I would kind of have her as a backup. I'm not proud of this, folks, but I'm being honest. I've got to be very honest with all of you because I'm telling a story and I've always told you I can't hold anything back. And that was my mentality in my 20s. So I started to date Stephanie. Stephanie and I went on multiple dates. We had a great time. Um, Things started to progress. At one point, Stephanie had told me that money was becoming an issue and that a job that she currently had was not one of the best jobs um, and they weren't making enough money. Well, I was currently a manager at a call center and I told her that I could get her a job immediately. And I told her she could make double the money in less amount of time of work. She was excited. But I also told her that it was frowned upon for me to date people of, um, you know, managers to agents. So I suggested that she worked the night shift because at the time I worked the day shift. And this way I would not be working with her and that nobody could actually say that I was dating an employee. So she decided to go for the job. I put in the referral for her. I hired her. She was trained at night. She started to do very well. I was working the day shift. And every once in a while, whenever she was working, uh, because her job, which is where I worked, was closer to my apartment, she would come over after work and we'd hang out. And then uh, that's how we would actually uh, get together and meet up um, on days that we just didn't have dates. We would just come, she'd come over, we'd walk my dog, hang out for a little while, and then she'd go home. And this went on for about two to three months. So one day I was asked to do a new training class in the day shift. And um, it was a rotation and it was my turn to train the new and upcoming staff. When I went in there, I started to look at all the paperwork and I discovered that one of the girls that was working the day shift, her name was Natalie. Natalie had caught wind that Stephanie had been working at a new job and that the new job she was working at made a lot of money. So Natalie decided to work in the same facility, but decided to work the day shift. When Natalie saw me, she felt, and I even thought it was fate. I did not know that this was happening behind the scenes. I did not know that Stephanie spoke with Natalie and that they decided to work in the same jobs. You see, Stephanie never divulged to her that the manager of that facility in the day shift was me. So Natalie, of course, knew, but Natalie didn't think that Stephanie knew that I worked in the day shift. It's very, very crazy. So I started to work the day shift and little did I know, they made up um, throughout the course of the months. Now it's like six months in. Natalie and Stephanie decided to make up. And we were getting close to the new season of a new season, new semester of college. And they were both taking night classes. When I walked into the day shift, I saw that Stephanie had been transferred today. And the other manager who didn't know that I was dating Stephanie and speaking to Natalie put them next to each other because Natalie was one of my best sellers. And they said they've decided to buddy them up. When I walked into that sales floor and looked as I saw two girls look up, one of them knew that I was dating them. The other had no clue. And it was the most uncomfortable feeling I've ever had. That's right. They both worked in the same location that I managed. This was not the first time this has happened to me, but it was surely the last. At that point, I had to come clean. I was worried about losing my job. So at the end of the shift, I asked them to wait for me 
and we decided I decided to take Stephanie to lunch. She wanted to introduce me to Natalie. Natalie wanted to introduce me to Stephanie. It was a very awkward lunch. As we got to lunch, Stephanie said, I wanted to tell you that I have been dating Angel for six months. Natalie, in disgust, looked at me and said, are you going to tell her or am I going to tell her? And I said, okay, I have to come clean. So I told them the entire story as to how everything transpired. And quite honestly, I really thought that they were going to get angry. They actually began to laugh. They thought it was hysterical. I couldn't believe what had transpired. I could not believe that I didn't get a drink spilled over my head, a slap in the face, nothing. When in reality was, they both felt that I had done the right thing by coming clean. But what I did tell them was, at no point in time did I string either of them along or promise them anything. I had kept Natalie more as a friend, and I was truly dating Stephanie. Nothing had happened. So throughout the course of the awkward lunch, I was walking Stephanie to her car. When I walked Stephanie to her car, I gave her a kiss goodbye, told her that I would see her later. As she pulled off, Natalie pulled next to me and said, I can't believe that you didn't tell me that you were still dating her that same night after we had just went on our first date. I told her, I'm sorry, I just didn't know what to do. Natalie then came out of the car and said, I'm going to miss these talks that we've had. She gave me a hug and I thought it was over. She then slipped a note into my pocket and said, do not read this until you get home. I drove home, took the note out of my pocket, and the note from Natalie said, there's no reason why we can't date two people at the same time. That's right. I was propositioned to see if I could date both of them at the same time. That was crazy. That is insane. That is how we leave season one of Crazy Date Story. And we'll see you next summer to conclude the actual ending of what happens between Natalie, Stephanie, and me. Crazy Date Story has been phenomenal. It has been going on for 16 episodes. It is one of my second highest rated downloads ever. And all of this because I used to keep a log. All of this because I used to keep record because when I was going through my insecurities, I went to a therapist and my therapist thought it was the best thing to do. Well, as I started doing the crazy date stories, I found my logbook and I've been reading everything that I've ever logged. So there's enough stories here for another season. So be prepared. We will conclude this story season two next summer. And it is our series finale. As we conclude Crazy Date Stories, episodes 17 through 28. Thank you so much. Have faith. (laughs) I'm I'm so crazy I, I hit the wrong button, but have faith. Let it begin. Crazy.